This particular sequence, it's this sequence here, came from the TAN lab at the University of Florida. And when that is installed on the outside, then that should give it the ability to bind to a protein called tyrosine kinase 7. Uh, that protein is found on many types of leukemia cells and breast cancer cells. Thus, we should now introduce that targeting capability on each of our capsids. So what Nick found was that this worked really well. Um, when we now mix those capsids with the leukemia cells, uh, these are a type of T-cell leukemia line, these uh, Jerkat cells they're called. Um, the, this, what you're looking at in these data is how much binding is there in the samples. And what you can see is for the cells by themselves, or if you just treat them with the capsids of nothing on the outside, you get these curves over here. But if these DNA molecules are present on the outside surface, you get this increase in fluorescence showing nice binding to those particular cells. Um, this is specific. Uh, we've done several controls, but one of them that's my favorite is you can scramble the DNA letters, and thus the DNA is still there. It's just not folded up in the right conformation, and we see no appreciable binding whatsoever. So it's very specific to these new targeting groups that we've introduced on the external surface. So um, to take this one step further, then, we wanted to see, now, can we deliver a cargo molecule of interest and now destroy these leukemia cells? And so the way that Nick did this is he synthesized this porphyrin molecule, um, this porphyrin, these types of molecules are relatives of the heme groups that you find in hemoglobin and myoglobin. We made a synthetic porphyrin with these water solubilizing groups with the negative charges, and then we attached these to the cysteines on the inside. So the purple groups that I'm showing in my cartoon, that's up to 180 of these porphyrin molecules that are now stuffed very tightly inside this capsid shell. So the reason we did this is porphyrins have a really neat property. If you shine light on a porphyrin, it will absorb that light. And what will happen is that it will then react with oxygen and the environment around it. So um, we're surrounded by oxygen. And um, the way that we describe that oxygen is we say it's in a triplet state. Um, 